man, these French scientists just figured out that, well, they kind of proved that the Earth is being seeded by protein from outer space because what they found, I just saw a video on this, is that the comets that are entering the atmosphere and burning up are, like, filled with the precursor to RNA, um, which is the precursor to DNA. So I think it's ribosomes. So then these... What's happening probably is, or, or a long time ago, and what's happening right now is these comets burn up over our atmosphere, is that life, we came from outer space. Earth itself was just a dirty, solid rock, you know? Wet and mucky. And then all this shit started vaporizing into the atmosphere and landing in the ocean, culminating into DNA and life. So that's probably happening all over the universe. I would imagine that lots of planets, especially in this galaxy, because it, all the planets, the galaxy kind of formed at the same time, so a lot of the planets and stars are of similar age, I would assume, in the gal in this local localization, that a lot of the planets that are like Earth have life on them, like us. Like they, It's like that hunter-monkey theory. We're all evolving kind of at the same rate, and as soon as one of us learns... Or 99 of us learns to do something a certain way. You know, 99% of us learns to do something a certain way. Someone in, in, in another star system will just have the inspiration to learn how to do it. And then they'll start doing it. And so it's very possible. I wouldn't say probable. I don't know enough about it to say probable or likely. But it's very possible that all this life is being seeded on all these planets. So as long as the planet carry structure can inhabit life as we know it with water and temperature it's very likely that there is mobile animal life on the planet plant and animal life like those comets are probably seeding all sorts of planets but like the moon, like they're, they're hitting the moon, but the moon doesn't have the right environment for it to turn into life. So you create the environment and then where is it coming from? I don't know. Exploding up stars and shit maybe are flinging out, exploding planets. Maybe some intelligent race is firing it out into the universe or into the galaxy throughout, you know. If we could propagate the galaxy with our semen, would we? Maybe, eh. I'd rather send out mechanical probes and communicate with them. So that was making me think, one, we have to unify because if all this life is evolving at the same time, and it's all probably very confused right now, a lot of it, and conflicting with itself, once we do get into space, if we're afraid of the other races, if we still have held onto the sphere of the other, of the unknown, it's going to be like constant perpetual warfare forever. I, and that's not, we have to come to peace. Like the point is let's find galactic peace so we can all like thrive. And I'm thinking the best gift we can give these other creatures is the internet because even like trees can communicate through electrical impulse. So if you can read their impulses like Morse code, you could pretty much decipher what they're saying. I would think or read the fluctuations in their magnetic field you know, like listening to their heartbeat to see if they're nervous or relaxed. But like, I feel like if we gave them access to our internet and all the knowledge, that not only would they understand us better, but they'd be able to evolve quicker. And we're them, basically. We're all one species kind of coming together. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Then the other part of me was like, well, what if they're violent? And, like, that's the fear, you know? That's the fear I gotta get past. And believe that it's gonna be good. I believe it. It's... You know, I've heard a lot about panspermia. The idea that we're being seeded by fungus from other gal... <laughs> but now, I guess it's real. Fuck yeah. It's incentive to come together for me. The knowledge that we could there we could be on other planets too. It's, it's just another reason to solve 
this local crisis and spread out 